Yeah. In my last reading, I couldn't um, catch the text one o'clock in the morning, and I don't want to talk too loud. I don't want to talk too loud, so I'm going to kind of like talking kind of low. I don't want to raise my voice. It's like one o'clock in the morning. And so, when you watch your reading, don't force the message onto you. It's supposed to come to you naturally. So, this is a happy day for you. What am I talking to? This is a happy day for you. It's not all the new beginnings. I want not only like happy day, I mean like as a start of, happy, of good things happening to you. Okay? Be still. Okay? Because sometimes when we go through change, you feel the change that you don't know what's going on. It's not for you to 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 feel like you might feel the need to change. That is a that is a sign that your body is giving you for you to know there's a change happening. But that don't mean you feel you physically have to go and change something. You feel me? I hear like embody the change. So it's not it's something that you put on already. It's like. Um, confidence. Confidence is not something that you go and buy. Confidence is who you really, you are, you, you are already. So there's like a new beginning happening to you right now, and it's a, it's a good thing. Okay, it's something pleasurable, and oh, my nose is itching. There's something pleasurable that will bring you peace and generational wealth. Okay, a proposal is coming. A proposal is coming. I see something like entanglement. You was there's an ex that tries to keep a quarrel around you about time. Okay, an ex is trying to come back. This is a warning. Okay, because your ex played with curses. Okay, with your your ex tried to ex you, hex you, throw a curse your way. Throw an um, evil eye your way, an evil spell your way. So be careful about that. Okay. This was a heartbroken type of situation. You you are a boss, okay? You move the way you want to. You move. You're about your bag. You're about your money. You're about um, new doors opening. You're about the positive side of life, right? And this person catches on to that, sees that, but the person already did the damage that it that was. There's no come. There's no going back. It's not going back from there, okay? Because everything the person sent you away is has been backfiring. Okay, the rainstorm that he sends you away, you were just out there dodging bu bullets a while and still winning. This person want to rekindle the flame that you guys had going on. This is a big warning to you. Okay, this person is still keeping tabs on you, still monitoring you, and still having the addiction that they once had, whatever the addiction was. They're still working on their addiction. They're not really working on it to heal it. If, they, if you're wondering if they still have the addiction, they do. Okay, there's a Virgo in here. Complete, completely abuse their power. Okay, keep on. Thugs losing their mind over you, but it's all like it's like a narcissistic thing. Like, I love you, I'm losing my mind over you. That's not like a a good um like how how I want to explain it. Like, oh, I can't sleep at night. I'm just thinking about you, like in a cute way. That's not that's not it. This is a more of oh, you make me want to whoop your ass, type of lose my mind. You know what I'm saying? It's like a, a narcissist way, like. Like who you think you are? Like, like I'm, the person is thinking about you, but in a, a, a evil, demanding type of way. You see what I'm saying? So that was, you came out of a very dark relationship, a very dark relationship. So that's why I said the new, the change that's coming, that is already happening in you, is not, it's not something that you have to force. It's naturally being. It's naturally evolving in your body. Maybe you need to take a. It's actually a good time for you to start taking um, a 
the elevating elevation. You are definitely going places. This is time for you to take a vacation. Sometimes when we go through something, we feel like um, sometimes when when so many bad things happens at once, we feel like we have to I have to go to work. Things are not lining up. Why is this not working? Sometimes the universe God will shut shit down for you, for you to finally go take some rest. For you to finally go get some sleep. For you to finally reach out to your family. For you to finally go talk and hang out with your kids. Sometimes things happen like that for you to have time to actually do the things that you have to do. Because if that was not to happen, you will keep being on, on your grind. Especially if I'm talking to a woman about her money. When there's money on the table, money to be made and money to get. This time, ain't nobody got time for no extra shit. But no, sometimes the body is tired. That now you're running on your mind, Jews. You're not work. You're not running on spirit. You're not running on soul. You're not running on heart. You're running on mind, and that could wreck. That could be deadly. You have put aside anything, everything else that was really important because you feel it is the important things is where your heart is. You see what I'm kind of like where I'm trying to go. You 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 are trying. You're trying to work too much, and you are you not trying to feel the hurt. But things are shutting down because. Your body, your your soul, your spirit is crying out for you to start healing. Okay, you have to start feeling this hurt. You have to start healing the hurt. You have to start healing the damage that's going on in your body. That's why shit is not working. Things is not working in you right now. There's nobody playing the devil's advocate, okay? Because you all, you, like, you embody a good luck charm because you're blessed. But now it's time for you.